this is another installment of DIY drip hydroponics. Uh, today we're going to be comparing the difference between uh, different mediums. And we're going to be uh, comparing pea gravel to your know, common hydrogen pebbles. Uh, hydrogen is expanded clay, it's baked, and it's supposed to be a pretty big medium, but it can cost a little bit of money. So. We're going to compare the difference between hydrogen and pellets using uh, iceberg lettuce in a drip hydroponic system. So come on in and we'll uh, go through the planning. So here we have our little uh, seedlings. They've just sprouted. Uh, they started to sprout yesterday and they've just gotten about maybe a half inch today. And what we're going to do is we're going to plant uh, four of these. And we're going to plant two in hydrogen and two in uh, regular pea gravel. So I'll show you how I'm going to do it. So a hydrogen is uh, baked clay balls which range between a quarter inch to a half inch round and they're a little bit porous on the outside which gives a uh, surface that the brain, uh, roots can cling on to. So the main difference between hydrogen and pea gravel, uh, the hydrogen goes for about uh, between $9.50 for a pound and $75 for 45 pounds, whereas uh, standard pea gravel goes for about $2.50 a pound up to about $15 for 40 pounds. So there's quite a bit of cost saving between uh, pea gravel and uh, hydrogen. I have a funny feeling that it's not going to matter too much here on the lettuce, but when we get to uh, the tomatoes and peppers, I have a funny feeling that uh, we may notice a little bit of stability issues with the uh, pea gravel versus the uh, hydrogen. So we're going to play around with this and uh, see which grows better and uh, see if there's any reason to buy that hydrogen or just use some gravel. Um, I wouldn't use any crushed limestone because that would be too hard and it uh, probably wouldn't be good for the plants. Uh, probably would affect the pH of the water too. And now it's time to adjust the water. So we'll go ahead and turn on the uh, pump. comes the nutrient solution. That one was pouring right on that plant. I really don't want that. Should probably mount those a little bit off. Place them in the pots a little bit off so they don't hit directly on them. But that one looks pretty good. And that one's going to be on there a little bit too, so let's turn that just a little bit. That's 
So you can see here, at the same location, we've got one pea gravel, one hydrogen. We have spots for peppers in the future. And over here we have another pea gravel and hydrogen. This is all ice percolitis. Uh, like I said, I don't think there's going to be much difference between the two. And uh, we'll have to see. So if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. And you can keep up on the uh, DIY drip hydroponic system. And don't forget to rate. And I appreciate if you give me a thumbs up. Alright, have a good day.